Hello, this is Level With Me. This is my show where I play through first person games usually and talk about what I think is going on in the level design. And today, well, today's last week I said I wasn't going to be here, but uh, turns out I got my dates mixed up so I can actually stream today. But uh, after this, there'll be like a one or two week hiatus. But anyway, uh, let's get started. We are about two-thirds I, I always i never really remember how far through thief this is but uh we're at the mage towers mission that's well past the halfway point the point of the game probably and uh let's try to finish it up today i guess so uh to review what's been happening in the Mage Towers mission. Uh, we are breaking into this big complex. Uh, it's kind of a standard uh, rectangular kind of castle, medieval castle plan where you have towers at the corners and then um, we have a keep in the middle and uh, our central tower in the middle. We started here at the main gate and what we had to do was first we had to go to the water tower and uh, and then in the water tower, we were able to get a key into the earth tower. And then once we were in the earth tower, we were able to get a key into the air tower. No, maybe the fire tower. I think that's where we're heading next. Uh, so now we have, to, we have to go in the fire tower and then the fire tower will have a key into the air tower. And then the key, the air tower will have, uh, will let us go finally into the central tower where we finally complete the objective. And the objective is to steal the Earth Talisman. Um, what happened last week was that we didn't really know where the Earth Talisman was at first. Uh, when you hear the word Earth Talisman and then you see something called an Earth Tower, you would think that you go to the Earth Tower and find the Earth Talisman in the Earth Tower. But uh, it turns out it was a little bit more complicated than that. We had to go into the library and get some clues as to where to go. But now that we have the clues, uh, we know we have to go through this chain of towers. Uh, this chain of towers and mild like puzzle solving element is also what makes this mission a little bit less than beloved by most uh thief players because it, it's a very like linear kind of order like no matter who's playing this mission they'll pretty much have to approach the towers in the same order and in the same way so although the mission does seem like a fairly large open plan where we get to choose where we go the order of the locked uh, gate and key uh, and the chain of all the ga gates and keys means that in practice we have to go in a very specific order that's identical to pretty much any other playthrough. So that's why most people would not put Mage Towers near the top of their favorite Thief missions list, which every person has. I'm sure every person has that list. I'll have to ask my mom for her list later. Uh, but right now we are uh, right here, I think, in the stairs. I'm on my way to the Fire Tower, so let's go see what's over there. So, here dudes out there have to be sneaky. Or am I on my way to the air tower? Which key do I have? I have the air key. I'm, my bad, I'm sorry. Um, I need to go to the air tower instead, not the fire tower, my bad. Wait, where am I? Oh, I know the air tower's over here. Oops. Is this a vision? Uh, and if you've Remember from past week, every tower kind of has in this like identical kind of plan. Has this idea? Sorry, just had to KO him, had to boop him on the head. Uh, every tower we've seen has this identical kind of lobby area, uh, so that we have to uh, 
uh, go in here and there's always all these arches and one mage uh, patron here. Here you can see this is an air mage. He's gonna fire air magic if I ever get detected by these dudes. And there's also a lot of, oh, is that a gas arrow? Gas arrows are very good. Gas arrows knock people out as soon as you use them. Um, so let's go see what's up going on in this air tower. I kind of like the color scheme, first of all, here. Uh, it's kind of nice, this uh, blue here. It, you might think it kind of feels like a water tower aesthetic almost, right? Because you'd associate water and air with the same kind of blue. But in practice, uh, this will feel very airy because I guess they don't use blue for the walls and the floor. I guess if you use blue for the ceiling, then that connotes more of a sky and air thing. And that's how you distinguish it from the water tower, maybe. Uh, or if I was, I guess, the level designer on this, I would have made the water tower more of like a greenish, like teal turquoise color, while air gets to be more like a baby blue kind of color. Anyway, let's go in. That's a weird torch. It looks like a non-torch. Oh well. Something. Stand as still as a pond in the winter. Oh, ouch! She's hitting me. So, um. <laughs> when you get detected. You have to kill people. Oh shit, he saw me. Let the darkness take you. You cannot escape. How? So he's shooting air magic at me. In the past, I've been pretty relentless on killing these mages, but I guess. Because it's the start of the stream, my uh, I'm kind of slow reaction time. I have seven healing potions, though. I'm not gonna run out of health anytime soon. Let's look at this room a little bit. Oh, it's kind of a more of a turquoise thing. Maybe it, uh, this is kind of anticipating what I was talking about in the lobby, where um, if you have this uh, elemental kind of theme, you have to distinguish the different towers somehow and you'd be at risk of having the water and the air tower being looking too similar so the way they because uh, they would both rely on the color of blue i guess at least in western culture so here we can see they've adopted much more of a green turquoise thing the textures are really nice they kind of remind me more of this more like a watercolor or like a paper you know it's it's like going to like a craft store this is like some this is what would be some really fancy wrapping paper you get. Some, you know, that like um, organic paper that uh, <laughs> that like uh, fancy paper you might use for like a wedding invitation or something. So this feels a little bit luxurious to me. I also like it because it also feels abstract a little to me because I'm not sure what substance this is. I guess this is like plaster or some kind of concrete kind of thing. But, but maybe if you want to keep with that air theme, you wouldn't want the materiality or your textures to be too obvious, right? Because it should be wispy, like like air, like like a dream. And okay, okay, I'll just I'll stop there. Uh, let's let's walk up here. You might notice from previous weeks that uh, this this uh, floor kind of resembles the other floors we've been in once we get up to the lobby there's usually this big hexagonal octagonal kind of room with a catwalk uh circling along the edges and usually we start in that door tunnel we have to climb up the stairs somehow and there's usually some kind of platform involved in the earth tower uh there were platforms but they weren't always the most oh. ow what the heck the platform just hurt me as much as I enjoy the sounds of male pain, um, that was ex unexpected to me. 
Um, I was trying to talk about how beautiful this was. Anyway, in the Earth Tower, there were platforms, but you didn't necessarily have to rely on them because you could shoot rope arrows in the ceiling. And the ceiling was made of like grass or dirt or moss or wood or something. But here you can see whatever this is, it's clearly not uh, grass or dirt or whatever. So we can't shoot rope arrows here. In this tower, we're going to be very dependent on platforms and jumping puzzles, which is not not the best look for Thief, but we'll, quick save will be our best friend here. <sighs> I hear someone. Is he coming up behind me? Where is he? Oh the shit! Be still. <laughs> um, I don't know where to hide. There's no obvious shadows here. Should I shot? I can't hide in the shadow of this table. This is kind of interesting because there's no obvious shadows here for me. I'm just like stuck here. Well, anyway, I'll just run past him. Really brightly lit. It's strange how like... Yeah, how unsafe this whole... How hostile this whole space is. have to ride all these weird platforms that I don't know what they're made of. They're just these weird <laughs> weirdly shaped it's, it's rock they're made of lava I think they're reused platforms from maybe from the fire tower okay, if I jump down there I'll probably die I feel like you could have done a better gimmick for this tower. I probably would have done some kind of like low gravity kind of thing. People love that, right? Yeah, I think I would have done some kind of low gravity or slow fall kind of thing because this is kind of boring. I'm just waiting for the platforms to get down here and then I can climb up. Um, people in the chat are reeling from how from the weird unpredictable path these platforms are taking. Because sometimes they're clipping through the platform, which is, I guess, a little bit disgusting. It is a little bit gauche. I'll, I'll agree on that. Okay, now I just have to wait for this one. The rock texture is nice. I mean, it looks like rock, at least to me. It's like a blue rock kind of thing um yeah this could have been like a nicer zen maybe but not nah. um it, it's almost kind of an ice texture a little bit which i guess evokes air as well right oh my god i almost got crushed <sighs> The one nice thing with jumping puzzles in Thief, though, is that you can mantle on top of the platform, which is a little bit more forgiving for a first-person game. Okay, now where am I? I'm in this big... I'm at the top! Oh, look at that! Okay, so I don't like the air tower like in general but I do like the top of the air tower where it does this interesting thing where you suddenly reach the top and it's just empty there's no guards or enemies let me give you a better view of this and you're just struck by this really random looking thing where you get this really pretty night sky although I don't think that's in the stock thief I think that's from the mod but imagine thief intended the night sky to be so pretty and then, and you just have this chest floating in midair. It's so surreal. It's so, it's, it's, 
it's not what you expect, right? At the top of this tower, I expect a bunch of more mage guards and I have to like kill them all and then climb 20 more platforms in this giant complicated room. But what's actually here is like this cute little puzzle where you have to go here and you have to lower these telescopes because that's what you do at the top of a of a mage tower, you know. We, yeah, this is a vaping chest, totally. We get it, you vape. Uh, and then you have to go here, and you think you're gonna open it, but it's actually locked. You have to lockpick this. So you take out your lockpicks, and as soon as you get your lockpicks, it floats back up. So then you're like, shit, I'm gonna have to... That's when gamers get that quick, and you're like, oh no, I'm gonna have to lower that chest and then rush down and lock pick it before it flies back up which isn't that interesting of a set piece i think but it's kind of funny right it's a little bit slapstick but the chest finally oh look at that face too and then you're almost done lock picking. You're you're almost done, and then it and then it flies back up. I think it's funny. More games should do this, where it's stuff that's kind of like mocking you, teasing you, but then it's not really harmful in the end, right? You just have to climb back up and redo this whole sequence again. And now finally I got the key inside, and what's inside is... Oh, bye. Uh, is this fire key. So now that I have the fire key, I can go over to the fire tower. And then in the fire tower, I'll be able to get the central key. And then with the central key, I'll get the treasure, and then escape through the sewer. So we have to backtrack our way down. But one last look around here. One nice thing about keeping your textures abstract is that you can re you can use them in different ways. You'll notice that this floor texture was a wall texture, but now it's being used as a floor. And my this is like a ceiling, but you can use it as a wall. So when you keep textures kind of abstract, you're emphasizing the materiality and like the color of it, but not really the structure of the texture or like the purpose of the texture so much. And when you do that, you can kind of reuse them in different interesting patterns and make a really pretty kind of collage effect, I think, where you get all these textures, I argue, uh, mix pretty nicely and feel cohesive, even though I don't really know what they are, right? This is like a weird marble floor that's made of ice or something. I don't know. So now I have to backtrack all the way through, waiting for all these elevators. But you know, I recently read a quote, I forget who said it, but uh, it was about repetition. And uh, this author, she argued that repetition was, there's no such thing as repetition. I think she's a famous author. I'm totally blanking on her name though. Uh, she says, there's no such thing as repetition, only insistence. So every time you have to grind through a game, every time you're backtracking through a game, it's not that the game is repetitive, it's that the game is insisting on this being an important activity for you to like experience and witness. Because uh, every time you repeat something, you know, you repeat it slightly differently. You're changed every time you say something differently or repeat a part of a game differently. So for instance, we're changed right now by, oh, I should have jumped on that. We're changed a little bit right now because we're on the return trip. So actually all these challenges are a little bit different 
because we're going at them from the other way. So instead, maybe we should think of backtracking as a as a purposeful tool we should embrace more often. But maybe to better effect than this, I don't know, maybe there's such a thing as bad insistence if there's no such thing as bad repetition. I wonder where that guy went. Remember that guy was chasing me? I guess he just like died or something. I don't even hear his footsteps anymore. Did everyone just die after... Oh wait, no, now I hear him. This is some fucking good repetition right here. Also, just one last, appre one last appreciation of these textures. You will rarely find a triple A FPS these days. Just have bright sea green in your eyes. Sea foam green? Aquamarine? I'm not sure what the color would be, but um, these colors don't usually exist in most games' palettes these days. So, again, another reason why, like Thief, sometimes they emphasize materiality a lot and structure a lot. And then sometimes they're just like, oh yeah, let's just have all these random colors with pretty textures everywhere. And that's just as valid. Okay, I think we gotta make it over to the... Oh, oops. I'll just let them live. It's okay. It's not a big deal. So I covered in the previous week uh, about how this is kind of a strange design choice to me. This whole hedge maze because it's super safe. It's super dark. The grass means our footsteps are very quiet so we can run wherever we like. Uh, it's just overpowered. It's OP for the player. And it's strange that most of the mission, it takes place in these big open hedge fields, hedge mazes that work totally to our advantage. It's not what you'd think the ninth mission of a level would do. Okay, let's get our fire key in there. Remember, there's a guard in every lobby. There's the guard. Might as well just boop him. Oh, there's a papyrus. What does that say? Um, oh, it's just more notes about... It's reminding us that once we get the fire key, we have to go into the central tower to get the final objective. That's kind of smart. The designers kind of bookend the towers. Uh, with reminders about what we're supposed to do with all these keys in the end, so that's nice. Ooh, there's a fire crystal. It's obviously what that is, right? And then the aesthetic seems to be like a gold kind of thing with fire crystals everywhere. I'm a fan. At least I think I'm a fan. Ooh, and then there's lava everywhere. Look at this. God, so straight. And then, oh, there's gonna be metal everywhere. I guess in keeping with this lava theme. God, how strange. That's kind of cool, though, that fire mages, I guess, are invincible to the fire. Well, I'm not gonna go jump out there and boop him. <clears throat> 
Men in their lava. Men always love lava. Toxic. <laughs> Toxic lava masculinity. Can he hear me? I think he's been hearing me this whole time. Okay, so this is also the weird gimmick of the fire tower. So in this fire tower, there's these glowing plates. Um, if you touch these glowing plates, they'll burn you. Obviously. Uh, so... We ha so it's kind of a variant on the jumping puzzle where the floor is hot lava and we shouldn't touch it when it's hot. I wonder if you can like cool it temporarily with a water arrow. That'd be a nice kind of thing, but uh, it's just kind of... Yeah, I can't say this is the most interesting. Oh, there's a guard up there. Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna have to put him out with a gas arrow. Otherwise he's gonna see me and then just shoot the hell out of me. Oh wait, no. Oh, that's the guy who... Oh, there's stairs <laughs> that just lead right down there. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Might as well just run out there. The sound of an intruder disturbs the air. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that was close. Uh oh. You saw me. Leave us while you can. He may have returned to darkness, but time is on my side. <laughs> oh shit, he's totally gonna see me. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna have to kill him. Oh fuck. Feel the sting of my head. I am on harm, foolish one. The earth will protect me. No, it won't. Ah. I shall have to kill him before he shoots. Ah. Okay, let me drink some health potion. Really, I can't dodge his rockets easily because because then I'll die. Because then I'll touch these hot plates. Then I'll touch these. I'll touch these pancake griddles. To me. An intruder has come. Well, at least he's not shooting at me anymore. Oh, okay. What's he doing? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just progress and, uh... Let them, let him hang out. I think they do lead their shots a little bit. I guess he's in scared fleeing mode, so I should just make use of this and run past him. Okay, now what's on this floor? Okay, more hot plates. Hot things are hot, that's what my mom taught me. Don't touch the stove when it's hot. Uh oh, there's a guy coming. Is he coming this way? I don't hear any stone. No, I don't think he's on the same floor. Oh wait, no, there he is. I'll just boop him. I call oh shit! How do you see me? Wind. Okay, I guess I'll just kill him. The earth will protect me. Sorry, dude. 
Uh, yes, I thought I was gonna be missing today's stream, but it turns out my holiday starts a little bit later, so... Uh, that's why I'm streaming today. Anyway, you get a bonus stream with me, isn't that nice? See, have to keep going dodge it's weird that they I don't get this room because I can easily just walk around all these plates like this isn't using the hot plates in an interesting way I don't think it's just an open room with these easily dodged obstacles maybe if we were ghosting maybe if we had to like evade the guard patrol and I didn't just boop him on the head it would have been more challenging like that, but that room just kind of seems, yeah, a little random. Uh, any dudes up here? No, this is just a big open room with some fire crystals hanging out. I feel like this, I think if I were making this level, I would have leaned more into the lava more. Or maybe they tried it, but then they realized. Oh crap, I have to like kill everyone in this. Oh wait, no, okay, I got him in time. I think I would have leaned a lot more into the lava theme somehow. I don't know. Um. Oh, question from the chat. Do you think the designers want the player to feel OP at this point? Like it's a reward for all your work and stuff. Maybe a little bit, but... I mean, a more likely explanation though, is just that... This isn't like the best paced mission. Uh, it's technically one of the re new remastered missions. The eternal fire will reclaim you. Oh, did he see me? Oh, no. He just stopped right there. So maybe they're... Uh, yeah, maybe it's like... You know, it's hard to insert new missions into an already established campaign progression, so... The weird thing about this level, I think, is also how, like, randomly dark it is. It doesn't feel like fire. It feels almost more like Earth-themed, almost, with the lack of light everywhere. I think I could have made the fire theme more meaningful, or I would have tried to, at least, as a designer here. Uh, I'm just gonna kill him. Or try to. Stir will only bring death. Escape while you can. I shall return in larger numbers, intruder. Leave us. Ah! Okay, there he goes. I think there's another guard up here, though. The force oh, shit. The fall upon you. He's doing that dancing magic again. Take you. So again, if you approach Thief as a combat game, it's not the best combat game. Just because it's not really tuned for that at all. It's pretty easy to circle straight for dodge enemies or to kill them. But as I approach the end of this mission, I'm getting a little bit impatient and I kind of want it to be over and... There's just like all this loud metal everywhere. It was gonna be really hard to just sneak past them in an interesting way. Like anytime you have any kind of level design choice like this where it's all one substance, all one material, all metal catwalks everywhere. Like, I guess I could have just spammed a lot of moss arrows to make the floor quieter, but that's kind of a lot of work 
that I didn't want to do. If that makes sense. Or I could have just ran up here. I probably could have just dodged everyone. I don't know. Ooh, there's a chest. Ooh, anyone here? Ooh. Ooh, okay, so I like this room. This room, I guess they finally accomplish their purpose where uh the lava's the lava's nice and slow it's not some weird fast frantic lava uh and uh they have some nice lava rocks going on here they also do a really clever thing where they have the lava textured on that pillar so it makes it seem like there's lava like oozing out of the ceiling that's like a lot cooler uh, and it, this room just works a lot better but it's a little bit of a shame that this isn't there's no guards here. There's no gameplay, no like real gameplay here going on that it's just meant to be pretty. And I just have to jump across, I guess is what I have to do. And then I need my lock picks. They do this interesting thing with uh, different uh, frob or with the different interact ranges where I can open chests from far away, but it, I can't lock pick them unless I go closer. So to me, that's an interesting uh, interact user interaction des design choice where I can quickly figure out if stuff is locked or not locked. But to actually unlock it, I have to take a bigger risk and get up closer to the actual thing. So uh, obviously here, the thing is I have to stand on a, a cool plate and lock pick, but it's kind of like the air tower before. I won't be able to get through the lock before I have to change places. So it's a variant on what we just experienced about 10 minutes ago. Uh, let's see if I can do it. First, I'm going to drink some health, though. I think I'm going to die from this. I'm pretty bad at timing this. This this also strikes me a little bit as like a level designer kind of joke here. Oh god, wrong lockpick. Oh god. Oh god. There's a transition point where I'm not sure if a plate is hot or not anymore. So that's why I'm being extra careful by just stepping off entirely. Now for the talisman. Ooh. And we get a little bit of nice voiceover to remind us what we're supposed to do with this final key. Aptly named the treasure key right here. And once we have that treasure key, we can take that to the central tower and finish up this mission. Hopefully no more jumping puzzles though. God. Now if I remember correctly, there's a shortcut we can take. If we go to the door over here. What's that? Oh, that's just a dead body? Okay. It's gonna snake over here. Yeah, that lava's way too fast, right? It's weird how the lava here is well-tuned, and then the lava up- or the lava up there was so well-tuned, and then this lava just feels really sloppy. Or couldn't you put some rocks, some nice decorative rocks, make a nice lava garden or something? Gonna take. Oh, there's a guard there. Okay, 
Maybe we won't take this shortcut yet. We'll uh, wait for that guard to walk away and then maybe we'll take the shortcut. Oh, it's a double guard patrol. Gotta wait for both of them. For this guy to come back around. Is he coming back around? Where'd he go? Oh, that no, there he is. Now we're taking this shortcut over here from the fire tower into the central tower right here. Although it doesn't seem to be on the map, right? Interesting. Well, I'm gonna put out this torch because I don't know what's on the other side of this door. So I wanna be able to observe from this place of safety. I'm gonna make another island of shadow over there. That door automatically closes. That's kind of interesting. That's pretty rare in Thief, I think. I don't hear anyone. So I think this room is safe. Again to here. Let me get my key. And then I guess I have to go back up here. So I'm in the central tower now, where it's a big stairwell. Um, do all the towers have secret exits? Yeah, every tower. Did I hear a noise? Uh oh. Uh, it was a false vision. Uh oh. That guy's gonna come up to me. Can I boop him? There we go. Yes, twas a false vision. Oh, uh, yeah, every tower, uh, other than the water tower, I think, does have a secret one way door where you have to pull a lever from the tower and it'll lead back to the central tower. And I'm uh, finally at the top. Here's the final secret keyhole. Oops, that's the wrong key. And now the Earth Tower's here. It's true, he has returned. We must, we must be ready. Oh. Rough waters lie ahead. Many will not survive. We must try to redirect the current. Try as we might to retrieve the talismans. The prophecy is an ocean returning to shore little we can do to prevent it and prepare for its arrival the prophecy is a ocean returning to shore the sun will oppose and I do like how the mages have like weird metaphorical dialogue that's kind of funny civilizations will burn into the earth so that it may give life they're all poets winds of progress that's the the real magic is the poetry in our hearts young apprentice you shall grasp the truth of it I shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters. Okay, I'll just kaboop this guy. Burn in eternal fire. Oh. <laughs> then I have to boop the other guy. What vision disturbs me? Sweet silence returns. Mmm, sweet silence. Wind blows, fire burns, earth. Who troubles this place? No one. 
Now we're here. Ooh, look at all this treasure. Okay, so now there's this interesting puzzle we have to solve. Where, uh... We don't know which one it is. There's actually, I think, eight or nine different talismans here. And let me see if we have the clue for it. If I remember correctly, there's a clue we needed to get. The fire can cleanse us, but it is not for the commons. Uh, no, that's not the clue. I don't know where the clue is. But if we pick the wrong one, like say this one, here's what happens. It hurts you. <laughs> it like, it like, bulges out and hurts you. Uh, so, uh, I think the clue, I think there's, if I remember correctly, there's a copy of the clue at the bottom of this stairwell. Let's go get it. Because I'm such a good thief player, I knew all the shortcuts to skip much of the main keep, but... I think it's down here. But yeah, I do love the bulging effect. More games should bulge. I agree. Ah, yeah, here's the clue. Oh wait, no, that's not the clue. Is this the clue? Eight old men up in a tower. Eight old men, only one with power. Turn away from the hand with the sword. I don't know what that means. Count seven and find your reward. Okay, so yeah, as, as pro-bulge as I am, I think we're gonna have to solve this riddle and find the earth talisman that will not bulge. I'm not in favor, I'm not pro painful bulge. I don't like abusive bulges. I like respectful bulges. So there's eight here and it says turn away from the hand with the sword. So let's find something the hand with the sword. I do like the wind the wind chime sounds are pretty nice up here. Do you see anything with a hand with the sword? Well there's no sword up here, it looks like. And uh oh suggestion maybe I should hit it with my sword? Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Nope. Nothing there. Uh, oh, look at the central structure more closely. Do you see a, a sword? Is it sword shaped? Is the top floor shaped like a sword? I don't see... Do you see anything about a sword? Hmm. Is the door decoration supposed to be a man with a sword? No, it looks like a symmet very symmetrical kind of thing. So when I finished, when I beat this before, I, I'm pretty sure I just chugged a bunch of health potions and I just brute forced it and just tried every single one until I found the correct one. <clears throat> so that's that's certainly one way to do this. You can totally trial by error it. Uh, maybe there's some kind of light pattern? Maybe I'm supposed to climb on top? And there's a sword on top. Um, now the only sword I can think of is 
the sword that's literally in my hand right here, which is in my right hand. So maybe that's what it meant. I mean, oops, that's the wrong clue. Uh, eight old mint. Um, turn away. Count seven and find your reward. So turn away from, turn away from your right hand, and turn left. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, are, are we all ready? Uh, ah. Okay, well, we tried. We tried our best. We gave it a good college try. Um. Maybe it was the six. By seven, they probably meant six, right? Oh, okay, nice. Oh, wait, because there's actually one. There's one over here that I didn't count. It was over here. Ah, tricky. Math is really hard. Math is really tricky. You know, don't, don't let mathematicians lie to you. Uh, okay, don't kill the servants doing good on that and I have to escape from the mage towers and we already got a clue that we should be going through the sewers at the bottom so let's try to do that to descend all the way down the tower I, I really love how Thief makes you climb up all these stairs. That's that's beautiful. A lesser game would have put an elevator in or something or made the tower shorter, but no, you're just going to climb all these fucking stairs. It's it's like the, the famous notorious part in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, I think, where there's a really tall ladder and you just have to climb that ladder for like three minutes. It's beautiful. Where are my lockpicks? Okay, here we are. Uh, oh, in the chat, someone says, uh, Tin Kelp says that uh, there's a guide that claims the guards up in that top room, they they pause their patrol in front of the real one. Oh, that's interesting. Well, too late. I KO'd all the guards. Uh, that leads to more treasure. I don't think that's leading to our exit. We have to go down to the bottom, I think. Or we learned a secret passage, actually, right? Wasn't there a secret passage somewhere to the sewer? I don't remember. All right, we learned it. We saw in the hedge, in the hedge maze, there was a secret floor hatch that led to the sewers. May I think I'm gonna keep going down. Sewers are usually in the bottom, right? We don't put sewers in the roof. That's some center Pompidou shit right there. Putting sewers in the roof. Who would do that? Yeah, this step. Look at that stone, and you think that's some sewer stone right there. Look at these really long hallways, too. It makes me really nervous. I better put out. I should have finished that sentence. I'm not. You're just gonna say I better put out. I better put out that torch. That's what I meant to say. I better put out for the guards. No, never. I would not. I would not have sex in this sewer. Probably get a UTI. Pretty sure this is the sewer room. Let's try one of my keys. 
Okay, n neither of my keys works. That's okay. Let's get my lock picks. Oh, shit! Oh, I'll just follow behind him. Oh, shit. There's a guard there. No one here. Don't mind me. That's the last time I jump for rats. Probably didn't need to KO him, but you know, why not? Uh, ooh, torture machines. Oh my god. You know, not my kink, but you do you. Are we in the sewer yet? No, this is just another torture room. Is this a sewer? Ah, okay. Nice. Here's the sewer with electric lighting and then one guard patrolling around. But the room is so huge, I can just run in there. It's kind of weird that this is halfway designed as a puzzle when it's just totally unnecessary. But... Now we're in the sewer. Let's run to freedom. Let's drink this speed potion and run to freedom. Hmm. This, this doesn't look like an exit, though. That'll come in useful. Oh, that'll come in useful. Yeah, I'm using it right now. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's see here. Completed all that pretty well. Completed one hour forty minutes. Not bad. Found nine hundred loot out of twenty eight hundred. Ooh. Okay, not the best loot collection, but I did my best. Let's see. A lot of knockouts. A lot of killed people. It's only innocence in others. I can't believe I'm othering them. Uh, what else is going? Got some loot. Good job. Complete all my goals. Nice. Okay, let's see what the next mission is. I'm probably going to stop, but let's let's preview what this next mission is. Uh, we're I'm pretty sure we're not going back to the haunted cathedral yet cuz you'll recall the haunted cathedral had four keys we had to uh, retrieve before we can get into the cathedral. So that was just the first of four. I think there's three more missions we have to complete before we go back to the haunted cathedral. So that was the earth key that we got. We also have to get the fire key and the water key and the air key, whatever those are. So let's see what's next. The talisman of fire in a place they call the lost city. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground. Oh gosh, ago. oof, the lost city. The have sealed the access to the city. A cleft in the river bottom near the east side. If the materials in the library, the lost right, city is a pretty interesting mission, or at least seal. as far as I can remember also got from a map. when I last played it. So old, the edges crumble in my Like hands. the map is interesting. Look at it that. We're gonna have to decipher that when we're walking around. Back then. Uh, the, the place hasn't changed much. And the lost city is gonna look like that. A lot of ruined towns, kind of in this like. Um, Native American kind of indigenous peoples like Pueblo kind of style uh, so we're going to be going around this huge underground city it's going to be absolutely colossal like the size of like a Skyrim continent or something so we're going to have to somehow get into the lost city and then we're going to have to get a bunch of treasure in the lost city then we have to oh, recover some medallions okay we'll Hopefully that'll be somewhere. Then we have to get the talisman of fire, and then we have to get back out, as we have to do in every thief mission. So that'll be really exciting to try out. Um, uh, oh, in the chat, a uh, bit of trivia from SL128. Uh, the Lost City in the Thief Gold version is the only level where you're allowed to kill humans on expert. Uh, because, oh my god. 
Oh, because there didn't used to be humans, but they added humans for Thief Gold, but they still let you kill them. Interesting. Well, remember all the excitement you're feeling right now and save that and don't forget that and just remember that because in two weeks' time, we'll return to the Lost City and finally dive in there. Uh, for real this time. For real. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you found the Mage Towers to be... I mean, it's not its not the best map, but it's okay. It's not the worst. At least it's not Thieves Guild. Anyway, see you next week. And thanks for tuning in. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do.